Hi guys, welcome to the second step of your challenge is about animating. Now before you watch this lecture, please go ahead and start animating. Open the motion graphic dash challenge dash start dot AP and then start animating. Guys, consider that there is a million ways to animate this motion graphics project. So the one I'm doing is just a simple example. You can go ahead, make it better, expand on it, or even reduce it depending on your taste. So do whatever you like, but it's important that all the layers here are animated. Cool. So let's start. First thing, I don't need text two anymore. First, I don't need text two workspace. I will go back to the default and reset the default and close the library here. I don't like it. So I will select design two. Control D to duplicate it and I press enter and call it animate. Okay, you can call it any name you would like. Now let's start animating this rectangle. Animation is all about where you place the anchor point. It can make a lot of difference. Before we start creating any keyframe, first we adjust the anchor point and you will decide exactly how you want your animation to go. In the case of the rectangle, I'm thinking about sliding it in while it's being scaled up. Well, that could be an idea. Select it, open the scale, then let's place the anchor point in the right place. I press Y, select the anchor point, just click on it and drag it. If you press Shift, it will go in a straight line. Control, it will snap, but I want just to put it just over here. Now, let's try the animation here. Of course, you remove the chain link and let's try it from over here. Well, this seems a good animation from this space. I will undo. Go to 20 frames. I'm going to use a lapse of 20 frames here. It will be okay. Then we retime them. I will click on the stopwatch to create the first keyframe, come back to the beginning and put it at zero the scale. Here you are. We try our animation. Not bad. It's working fine. Let's animate global and warming. The anchor point is over here. It's okay. I want just to animate with the position. I press P for the position. Press K to jump to the next keyframe. Go to the beginning of the composition and with the selection tool, just click and drag and put them outside. Well, that will do for now. Notice the animation is very simple. Let's animate the two backgrounds over here. Select the top one and notice the anchor point is just in the middle of the layer. And the bottom one, the anchor point is also in the middle of the layer. First, adjust the anchor point. For this guy, take the anchor point and just snap it over here. Cool. For this guy, I will just snap it just over here. Okay. If it's not working with you, like it's jumping, you can just press Alt or Option on the Mac and point where you want to zoom and just scroll the mouse. You notice it's quite good now. You can see where the anchor point is snapping. Let's go back to 100%. Both backgrounds, I want to animate them with the scale. I will go for the selection tool, select both of them. Here you are. Press S for the scale. Jump to the previous keyframe. Click on the stopwatch to create the keyframes. Go back to the beginning and uh, simply remove the chain link and put it at zero. Here you are. You notice how they are animated. Well, that's pretty cool. If I put zero, here you are. They are being animated very nicely. They come one after the other. That's not the only animation, guys. You can create much more than that. Now, let's go for the three bars here. The anchor point is in the middle. I wish that the anchor point tool could move the anchor point of three layers, but actually it can go one layer at a time. And if you click while having more than one layer selected, it's not going to move. So I will have to deselect, select the bar here and drag the anchor point to the bottom here. I press control and it's now working so i need to zoom in okay i'm showing you all the details here possible then come to this guy just over here select him the anchor point is here press ctrl or command on the mac and just snap it to the bottom middle okay and this guy also i will just snap it to the middle button over here press shift that's it go back to 100 percent so we have bar right, bar medium, and bar left. We open the scale. There's a lot of animations with the scale all the time. You go to the next keyframe, click on the stopwatch to create the animation, go back to the beginning, and simply remove the chain link. I already done this. And vertically now, you want to take them to zero. Here you are. So you have a very nice animation just over here. Notice? Of course, we need to sequence later. 
you notice that these three texts over here, the percentages have the anchor point at the bottom, in the middle button. Fine, I will select the three of them and I want to animate them through the opacity, that is T, and then through the scale, that is Shift S. And jump to the previous keyframe here. Click on the stopwatch for both properties. Come back to the beginning. Put the scale to zero. Notice how they are scaling down. Okay, usually it's much nicer to use the opacity also. I'll put opacity to zero. Here you are. You have a very nice animation. The three guys here, I'm going to use opacity. So I press T to get opacity and I can keyframe it now that you know. Okay, at the beginning here, put the value to zero. Okay, jump to the next keyframe and put the value to 100%. Okay, I knew what I was doing here. Here we are. You create a very nice animation. Now, later on, you will sequence it. Now, these guys, let's play a bit here. Let's animate the top guy here. Okay, with the rotation. I will open the rotation. You notice I already rotated it to 45 degrees. I did not rotate the shape because I want to see the 45 degrees here. Let's go to the next keyframe and keyframe it at 45 degrees. Come back to the beginning and let's scrub through. Okay, it's a very stupid animation like this. Let's take care of the anchor point. I'll click on it and drag it and just snap it to the border of the composition. I'm using Shift and Control or Command on the Mac. So this guy has the anchor point over here. Now, if you fiddle with the rotation, notice it's pretty cool. Okay, so we can start from here. I think minus 90 will be cool. Fine. And then you have a nice animation here, but unfortunately it's coming over everything. To avoid this, I can just add the scale. That will be Shift S. I will keyframe the scale here at zero, both. Okay, come to the next keyframe and make it 100%. Okay, now the animation is a bit better where it doesn't climb over everything. You can just adjust it or take the anchor point a bit to the lower side. Okay, notice now it's not gonna come over anything. Now I'm left with these two guys here. Well, these guys, you can animate them the way you would like. You can rotate them out or you can move them with the position. The nice way here I would like to do is using the position. I would give frame the position, come back to the beginning here and using the selection tool, I click on one of them, drag and put it just outside. Cool. Now notice the animation here. It's cool, but not that cool at all. So the way I want to do it is when this is settled here, I want them to be at the same position. Select both of them. Come to the align panel and just align them. Notice they jumped in the middle. Since I can't grab them anymore, I'm going to use this one just over here and put it just here. Okay, that's for both of them. After some time here, let's say 10 frames, I'm going to take the right one and just move it to the other position. Okay, so I'm trying to be creative, so to say. But I want you to get used to this and try to be also creative. Nice. I like the animation. So actually, we have animated already everything except the ancient here. Now, the ancient is badly positioned, I guess. So we click on it. Just move it in the middle over here. Okay. And let's do only opacity. It will look nicer. So we'll come to the previous keyframe. Another one. We keyframe the opacity. Come back to the beginning. We put at zero. Okay, here you are. We need to sequence them to make sense. So guys, it's very easy to animate if you follow the method I'm showing you. If you want to start guessing and playing around and so on, it's going to be hard. Please believe me. Now that you watched how I animated, this is not the only one. Of course, you can do lots of other things. You can get the bars to come from top, for example, or scale them from the middle here. Any, anything you want. You can get the background to come from outside using the position and this guy even to slide it in a different way. So please come and play here. It's very important. So now that we completed the animation, we want to do, go to the next step and sequence the layers and make it, you know, much nicer. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.